Hi, this is Jeff Thrasher with Gravity Sketch. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export your GS created design directly from your workspace and landing pad and import right into Clo 3D. You can find all of these assets and other great starting points in our 3D assets folder in both the headset and on the landing pad webpage. And to start this project, I'm going to separate the garment's components to individual layers by wireframe, surface, and trim. Because we'll only be making rough patterns from this GS sketch, we'll only have to be exporting the surface. Okay, cool. Now we have all of our components separated by layers. Okay, now next what we want to do is called flip normals. This is just like the right side and the wrong side of fabrics. So in this case, the right side is the solid and the wrong side is clear. And what we need to do is click on the transparent panels with the wand. This is super important when you bring it into Clo. Okay, we're back on our desktop at landing pad, opening up our file. Now that our layers are organized by components, Let's turn the ones we don't need to export. Okay, we're exporting the surface layer only. Okay, and also now at the export window, let's type what we want to call the file. Then let's navigate down to the file format and choose OBJ. The unit of measure are in meters in this case. And then we're gonna change the geometry preferences to single. Looks good. And export. You can find your exported file in the cloud exports on your main landing pad page. Then right click and download. Let's drag the OBJ file onto our desktop and then right into Clo. Here in the import window, let's choose open for a new file, and then we'll choose object type as avatar because we'll be flattening these shapes into patterns. Nice. Now that we've successfully imported our GS jacket sketch into Clo 3D, let's make sure we have the right sides of the materials all represented as white and the wrong sides of the material inside showing as dark gray. We're going to use the flatten tool in the 3D window. And since we only have imported the surfaces, we now can have some good starting points to build a more refined pattern. This can be an ideal workflow, especially when there may be some unconventional patterning in the design concepts. Since this is a symmetrical design, we're going to need to only flatten one side of the garment. And then we can go ahead and take our avatar imported GS sketch and delete it. We're going to cut the back panel and the center hood panel in half, because after sewing one side, we're going to clone the other sides with sewing. And now let's clean up the edges and convert most of the segment points to curves before sewing.
let's choose a mannequin so our jacket can fall onto. And simulate. And so we've covered taking our jacket sketch and separating the garment components to their own layers for clean organization. We made sure all of the surfacing is facing the right side out using the normals wand in our tool belt, and then exported our jacket sketch directly from the landing pad webpage and import as an avatar in Clo 3D. Again, all of the assets shown in this short tutorial can be found on landing pad and in headset. Grab them now if you have an account or sign up for a free account to access them and try this workflow yourself.